Hi, so in this video we're just going to have a look into the new capability which is ClickSense self-service uh, self reporting which just came out in ClickSense SaaS Enterprise last week. Uh, this allows users to subscribe to charts or to sheets and have it distributed to themselves um, in, in an email uh, as a PDF attachment. So this is going to replace mprint at some point it's not going to be a direct replacement um not particularly now uh, in any case because it's in a much more limited format um, at the moment you can only distribute it to yourself if we just nip over to um, its page on the the help site here you can see that you'll get a subscription email that will contain an image of the visualization if you subscribe to a chart. If you subscribe to a sheet, however, you don't get an image, you just get an attachment. In both cases, you'll get that attachment, whether it's a visualization or a sheet, and then you also get a link back to the app. Um, so the main capability here is exporting PDFs on a set schedule to your inbox. So that's the most basic um, form of static reporting. Uh, that Click have introduced to begin with, um, and I know, and we would have heard at Click World that later on they're going to add more capabilities to um, be able to match effectively what M printing can do at the moment. Uh, this is built from the ground up, so it's not M printing, it is a brand new product, and therefore it's called self service reporting. Um, so it sounds like they're, they're going to eventually um, move away from the M printing that is specific to client managed. Uh, as it stands. If we just scroll down here to the limitations, because we'll look at the implementation in a second and how you actually subscribe to a report, you can see here that you can't actually subscribe to a filter pane, which makes sense. Um, you can't subscribe to container objects, but you can subscribe to the objects within them. And you can only create up to 100 subscriptions at the moment. Uh, that might change later on down the line. And also you can only subscribe to yourself. So you can't distribute this to other users. You can't set up the subscriptions on the, on behalf of other users or people that don't have uh, ClickSense licenses. So that just gives us a quick intro into um, self-service reporting. We'll also just now have a look at actually how you create it. So this is only the second time I've done it, um, but it's relatively straightforward. So here we can right click on um, our, our visualization here and we can set up and, and we can subscribe to that so it's very quick very simple just a couple of clicks to get to to the end goal here we can give it a title i'm just going to leave it name the same we can then send tell it when to send it so either weekly or monthly when it's set to weekly you can choose the days of the week so it can be multiple days every day or just weekdays in this case we'll just set it to be a monday and we can set the time we want to receive it. So here I'm going to set it to, no, it's just gone to 51. So I'm going to set it to 9.52 AM and click subscribe. If I just pull up my inbox and in here, you can see I've got a particular folder um, that receives all my alerts and my subscriptions from our click tenant. Uh, we should see uh, in a few seconds time that, that that particular report coming through. What I'm also going to do whilst we wait for that email uh, is subscribe to a, a sheet uh, as well. So to subscribe to a sheet you just have to click on the navigation button, there's this ellipsis at the top left hand corner here. We can either download it as a, sh as a sheet, which we uh, already know of. Interestingly, Click have improved the capability or the quality of the exports as part of this um, additional capability to be able to subscribe. So I'm going to create another subscription here and again we'll just leave it set to um, just to Monday at the moment and I'm going to just go set it to another minute and we'll subscribe to the entire sheet just so we can see the different the variations between the reports. So now it's 9.52 uh, which you can't see in the corner of my screen but it is 9.52 uh, and as you can see with the email there and now we've received um, our first subscription. So here you can see we've got the chart, we've got the ability to, to go open that app back up and we've also got the attachment. So I talked about the quality of the PDFs uh, having improved as part of this upgrade uh, and there you can see it's, it's crisp as anything, it's, it's high quality and hopefully when we look at the 
um, sheet uh, in a few seconds time, we should see the same there as well. Now, a couple of questions that I always have when I first start exploring these capabilities is, you know, what, what can we do in the report? We know the limitations. It didn't specify anything around um, uh, selection. So let's go ahead and just select a few values here. And let's focus on these outliers and we'll just subscribe to this one as well. So we'll get a few or several different um, capability, uh, different reports and subscriptions set up. Um, and here we can see that my email to my sheets now arrived. We don't get that view within the, um, within the email, which is a shame. Um, but we can obviously open up the PDF and there you can see again, quality's pretty good. And I'm told that it also, um, uh, supports custom themes there as well. So it should be, uh, exactly how it's uh, visualized within your within your particular app. What I'm also interested in doing is if I just make a, a copy of this particular sheet, I'm just gonna clear my selections there, is does it work on private sheets? I don't know. So let's have a little test of that. So if I just go ahead and subscribe to this sheet, so this is my copy and I'm just going to call this private sheet and I'm going to set that up to be 9.55. Okay, so let's have a look to see what else is dropped in the inbox. So here we had the, um, the individual charts, we had the initial sheet. This is with our selections for a particular chart. So there you can see that those selections have been adhere adhered to uh, and are taken into consideration, which is good. It's what we'd expect. And this one is our private sheet. So it does work with private sheets, which is great. So, okay, so those are probably the main use cases. Another one that I'm interested in knowing is does it work with extended sheets? Um, I've seen more and more dashboards utilize that functionality, so I'm always keen to see if that works. So let's go ahead and just change our sheet to extend. I'm just gonna extend this table, in fact. Let's do a couple extensions to see how it handles that. Now, one, one, and rather than run this now, because we've already got a, a subscription set up for this private sheet, is I'm just gonna go ahead and look at how to, to manage this. So if I click on my profile name here, you can see we can click on uh, subscriptions. And these are all the subscriptions that we've got. Here we can view them, we can delete them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete a couple of these. We can also disable them. That will stop it from sending um, uh, and effectively disable the, the, the schedule. But what we can also do is go ahead and just click on uh, send now. So I'm just gonna click on send now on my private sheet. And whilst we wait for that, I'm just gonna tidy up my pre-sales environment. And let's delete the previous um, subscriptions. So, so far you've seen it's very quick, simple to set up. We can manage these subscriptions. You can do this apparently on a uh, tenant basis as well. So admin should be able to manage other um, user subscriptions. Um, I assume that would be done via the management console. I told you I hadn't looked too much into this. So let's have a look. I'll just make this a bit bigger. There you can see we've got our subscriptions and there you can see the ones that I've got set up and you can see that and he's got a couple set up there as well. I can go ahead, I can disable or I can delete them on behalf of other users, which is very good uh, from that point of view as well. Cool, so now we received our attachment that was a extended sheet, but there we can see that no, it hasn't taken in consideration that it is, oh no, it has. It has, sorry, it's, it's made it smaller. It's just all on one page. So it hasn't paged 
the results, which is interesting, because uh, that could look very ugly depending on the length of it, if it just squishes it into a single single page, but oh, it's, it's, it's okay, I guess. Um, hopefully that will, uh, that they'll look into paging it in, into the future. Well, that's, yeah, interesting. Don't really know what to think of that. Um, but there you go. That's self-service reporting. Uh, very quick, simple to set up. Maybe need to think about extended sheets. Um, but other than that, it's, it's a thumbs up from us.